Welcome to the official Windows 8 channel and today we're going to have an update on a piece of software that I actually talked about on the channel that is very good for removing malware and it's uh, Malwarebytes Anti-Malware. As of April 2014 they updated the uh, interface and the program itself. They kind of uh, changed the way it looks, the way it reacts and what you have to do. And I've uh, noticed because I got a lot of questions about people um, checking my older videos and saying, well, um, I don't understand uh, in your video you can delete and now I have no delete but I have quarantined, is it the same? And this is going to be explained here as well as having a little bit of a review at the same time of the new version. So to get ma uh, Malwarebytes anti-malware you simply go to www.malwarebytes.org, the address you can see here, it's going to be in the notes also with the video. And you get to this page, it has to look like this. You click free version download on the bottom left and you should immediately go to the download page and see that it's downloading. Depending on the browser this is going to be a little different, but you need to have this page in a download that should start automatically. If you are anywhere else uh, be warned that one of the biggest problems downloading malwarebytes on computers that are infected with malware is the fact that they already uh, often change the links. So you go to malwarebytes page, you click the download, but you're sent to another page to download something else that is usually a malware. So uh, be careful about that. If you don't see this page, if you're not sure it's a good place for the download, why not download it from another computer that is safe and secure, put it on a CD or USB key and then install it on your computer from that. Um, it happens often. I've seen a lot of clients that have uh, malware and uh, you actually need to uh, um, you know, download it from another computer because you just can't get access to the Malwarebytes, Malwarebytes um, page. So uh, make sure that you go to the right place. Once it's installed on your computer, well, basically you've got uh, the same blue icon of Malwarebytes, but the interface is greatly changed. And this is what it looks like now. As you see, it's very different. One of the cool features is that it uploads automatically. On the older version, uh, unless it was really old, often um, it would not actually update by itself and you'd have to manually do it. Uh, unless it was more than like 30, year, 30 um, um, days old or something or something like that. Uh, here it really checks and updates automatically and that's what you'll see probably the first thing it's going to do before uh, on the first run. Uh, the interface has really really changed a lot and uh, this is why I decided to make uh, the video that you're seeing right now so that we can update a little bit everyone on how it works and how it's used. Now, should you install uh, Malwarebytes anti-malware? Uh, a lot of people say, I got an antivirus, I got McAfee, Norton, or, you know. Uh, it depends on the antivirus, but most of the times, uh, Malwarebytes is compatible with um, other antivirus software, especially the free version, because the free version does not have a uh, live scan. So it doesn't interfere with any other antivirus that might have a live scan. Uh, if you're using a free antivirus, a VAST, um, maybe um, Security Essentials, or basically in Windows 8, it's the Windows Defender that is integrated, uh, like I am using Windows Defender. If I look at it here, we can see that um, if I put Defender, if you're not sure, you can check Windows Defender. You should have this green PC status protected little window. So this is my antivirus. I use the basic Windows Defender from Windows 8 which is not bad at all. And I think having Malwarebytes is a great complement. So by having uh, Windows Defender and Malwarebytes into malware, I think you got a winning uh, combination here and uh, basically costs you nothing. The difference between the premium version or paid version and the free version is the live scan. Um, the premium version has a live scan of everything you do so um, the real-time scan prevents you from installing any malware and I think uh, if you enjoy the software it is not a bad idea to actually purchase the paid version and you'll be uh, also uh, 
be able to uh, you know um, help those people that make this great piece of software uh, Malwarebytes is the best in my advice it's the best uh, malware detect detection program out there so uh, it's a great 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 tool to have on every computer so once you get here well basically you'll have the scan now button right there at the bottom right so all you have to do is just click the scan now and uh, you will be able to scan now you see it says here updates are available so uh, you just click update now will update the uh, and uh, you, you see how fast the updates are happening here um, I installed this piece of software just a little over an hour ago and there's already a new update available so uh, it, it shows you that they work hard to have all uh, malware detection signatures here so what's changed well now you've got this thread scan window that details the different scans it's making on the left side you have pre-scan then you've got the memory scan that checks for anything in a RAM memory that could be infecting your computer startup objects so it's detecting whatever malware is in the startup and that uh, actually uh, is flagged then it will check registry objects sometimes it's just a registry key that changed but it we're gonna check for everything for that to make sure that everything's okay and the last big thing that it does is a file system objects this is probably what is the longest to do depending on your computer and how many programs you have installed uh, this scan is the longest because it checks all the files and folders on your computer here uh, and the last thing it will do when it, all that's over it's going to do a, what we call a heuristic scan that is it's going to recheck the list of um, things that it found and things that it didn't find but that it wants to just check a little more and by looking at signatures and finding uh, ways of certain files how they are connected how they are programmed it will detect maybe some new stuff also and depending on what it detects it's also going to check for a little more than that it's going to say well I found this adware uh, maybe I should check for this and this and this other malware because they usually come together that is uh, a heuristic scan is basically your computer trying to think if you've got this what else usually comes and what else should I check for a scan takes anywhere from five to ten minutes to um, up to an hour easily I've uh, had scans in computers clients that were over an hour and um, basically um, these are dependent on the number of files and of course if you have malware detected it might take a little more time because it's going to work harder to check your computer once it's done you get a list of all the detected items and now what's changed is that on that list that you'll get at the end there's a thing called quarantine and so if you want to remove you'll have to click quarantine unfortunately I have nothing to show you because um, there's no malware in my computer um, but if I had you would see a list when it's finished I'm just gonna you know, cancel scan here yep. uh, basically what it does it shows you a list here in this window and on the bottom left here you'll have quarantine all so basically that's what you should do with about everything it finds on your computer and afterwards it's probably going to ask you to restart your computer once it restarts normally you are malware free so um, this is a great program to do a scan with maybe you could scan um, I, I, I'm the general guide that I give you know the general rule I give to my clients uh, every week is why not scan your computer once a week manually I think that's a good idea I think this prevents your computer from being infected and if it finds stuff and don't be surprised if it does it doesn't mean you're infected necessarily it will remove stuff that sometimes are just uh, files left by or files that have been uh, detected because you've been on a web page that contained uh, a possible malicious software uh, so just remove everything put in quarantine and uh, what you should do from time to time then is go into the history on the upper uh, 
right side there and click the history and um, delete everything that you find from time to time in that uh, quarantine space quarantine is like a, a jail a prison it takes the files puts them in jail or in a like a really 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 good jail where it can get out and uh, basically from time to time you'll want to remove it now why doesn't it remove it directly well there's one thing that can happen is it it's does happen sometimes that when you have a malware it actually changes the properties of for example your web browser and when you actually remove that put it in quarantine you'll notice that your web browser cannot access the internet anymore so if that happens you have the possibility to actually restore them and find another way to fix your problem so that's why they added this safeguard in case the malware bytes breaks something in your computer you can restore it and see what else you can do now I've been using malware bytes for many years and I can tell you one thing it's I've, I've actually never personally had malware bytes break anything on my computer or any clients computers uh, it's actually quite good at not just removing but repairing the damage but it's a great piece of software now in this new version with updated um, interface I have the impression that it actually is working even more um, even better to remove uh, malware it seems to be really good uh, I've used it in the past few days on clients computers that were infected with all sorts of malware and adware and uh, it's really really good and uh, it's actually one of those essential software that you really really need to have on your computer so um, especially if you're using a free antivirus why not install malwarebytes scan your computer once a week and hey if you really enjoy the program why not buy a premium version and uh, help with the cost of uh, this software so this is uh, malwarebytes anti-malware hope it helped you have uh, how to use it um, one last thing you've got the settings tab here where you can actually uh, change a lot of the different settings of how it scans and what it should remove um, the reason why they put that is because for example you can uh, make a uh, malware exclusion list for example why should you do that an example is um, micro torrent or what a lot of people called U torrent when you install that piece of software it often installs a toolbar and on some computers if you remove the toolbar you actually break microtorrent it doesn't work anymore so malwarebytes will find the uTorrent toolbar and say well that's adware I want to remove it and if you do you break uTorrent so that's why they add exclusions there are software that are with adware and they need to stay together or else it doesn't work Personally, I think that any software that has adware included with it should not be installed. But, uh, but that being said, it does happen sometimes that people uh, want that software anyway. Another software that is uh, like that is Incredimail. Incredimail wants to install its bars. and It's actually one of those software that a lot of people use because they find it cute and fun. But it also is one of the bad software out there with all sorts of adware stuff on it so that's why you might want to uh, have exclusions for example so uh, detection and protection and um, you can you know add these little check marks or remove depending on what you want to do and enable or disable some stuff so uh, malware bytes anti-malware it's free and you can have a premium version if you want that will be real-time protection and this is a little update on Windows 8 so now instead of deleting files you'll quarantine the files so uh, if you enjoy our videos why not subscribe to our channel and you'll be informed when new videos are online if you have any comments questions what you've seen if you use malware bytes maybe you have a Windows 8 feature you'd like us to make a video ask away we'll try to put that video online and hopefully 
you will come back to the official Windows 8 channel. Thanks for watching and bye-bye.